How to Cite This Article Omalo, W.O. 2020 Compliance with Planning Standards Related to the Setbacks Around Domestic Buildings, Empirical Evidence from Kenya Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 to 108. https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point two five zero three four slash hq a point twenty twenty dot v four n two dash nine. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, twenty twenty, volume four, number two, pages ninety five one hundred and eight. Compliance with planning standards related to the Setbacks Around Domestic Buildings, Empirical Evidence from Kenya Asterisk Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo Department of Planning and Development, Kisii University, Kenya Email, wachin at gshiuniversity.ac.ke ABSTRACT This study investigates the extent to which planning standards that regulate the setbacks Around domestic buildings are complied with by developers in Kenya, a case study of Kisi Town. Using proportional random sampling targeting seven neighborhoods, a sample of 364 was drawn from the target population of 7,430 developments. While checklists were used to collect data on the extent of compliance with the planning standards, data were analyzed using means mode, standard deviation and a one-sample t-test. Results Established that most developments disregarded the planning standards on setbacks. Hypothesis tests further reported significant differences between the respective recommended setbacks, front, side and rear, and extent of developers' compliance, t, 289, equals minus 14.746, P equals 0 0.000, T, 289, equals minus 8.937, P equals 0 0.000, and T, 289, equals minus 20.3826, P equals 0 0.000. The study concludes that developers flout planning standards owing to insufficient development. Controlled by the county government of Kisii. A recommendation is made for the adoption of locally nurtured standards that addresses the existing socio-economic attributes as an alternative of relying on those generated at the national level. This study enriches the current body of literature in planning by validating how compliance with planning standards may be statistically assessed. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 2020, 4. 2, 95 to 108. https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point two five zero three four slash hq a point twenty twenty dot v four n two dash nine. www dot ijqua dot com. Copyright copyright twenty twenty journal of contemporary urban affairs. All rights reserved. One. Introduction. The global urban population has been rapidly escalating since 1950. As a case in point, the population increased from 746 million in 1950, 29.6% of the worldwide population, to 2.85 billion in 2000, 46.6% of the world wide population, and further projected to 5.06 billion by 2030. 60 percenter of the worldwide population on habitat 2015 richie and roser 2020 in actual fact confirm that over 50 percenter of the global population is already residing in urban areas with this trend in mind the on habitat 2019 forecasted that by 2050 two-thirds of the global population will be living in urban areas. If this change is not well planned, it is bound to undesirably contribute to challenges such as urban decay, ADG and Arela, 2018, urban sprawl, Fuladlu, 2019, and non-compliance with recommended land use. 
planning standards with a particular reference to the developing countries. Accelerated increases in the population of urban dwellers are likewise being witnessed in Africa, Hope Senior, 2012. According to the African ARTICLEINFO Article History Received December 12, 2019 Accepted January 23, 2020 Available online February 3, 2020 Keywords Enforcement KCI Town Neighborhoods Planning Standards Setbacks This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial, No Drives 4.0 CC by NCNT This article is published with open Access at www.ijqua.com Asterisk Corresponding Author Department of Planning and Development, KCI University Kenya Email Address, waching at gshiuniversity.ac.ke Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 108 2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 96. According to the Africa Development Bank. 2014, just a century ago, Africa had an urban population that was less than 8% of its total population. An interesting fact is that by the end of 2020, Africa's urban population will have surpassed that of Europe's total urban population. A question that arises at this juncture is whether African countries have a well-structured development control regime for containing the rapidly expanding urban population. This confirms the arguments of UNDP 2012 that economic growth and concomitant Demographic changes in Africa have given rise to urbanization without the much-needed land. Use planning. Evidently, although urbanization should make residents more successful, most African urban areas have remained unprepared. For the transition, Institute of Economic Affairs. 2016. Rapid urbanization is not a new occurrence in Kenya where the growth has been accompanied by the non-compliance with the applicable planning standards resulting in urban neighborhoods which are characterized with challenges such as land use conflicts, and the proliferation of informal settlements. Moreover, even though development control should be prescriptive on the account of being used as a panacea for land use planning through enabling pieces of legislation, this to date remains as one of the central weaknesses within Kenya's planning system with much development. Proceeding in contravention of recommended planning standards, World Bank, 2016. From the foregoing insight, through a case study of Kisi Town, the objective of this study was to investigate if developments in Kenya are complying with the recommended planning. Standards that are used in regulating the spaces around domestic buildings, commonly known as setbacks. To achieve this, the study was guided by the following three related hypotheses. A. H01, there is no statistically significant difference between the recommended planning standards for the front setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by Developers in Kisi Town. B. H02, there is no statistically significant difference between the recommended planning standards for the side setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by developers in Kisi Town. C. H03, there is no statistically significant difference between the recommended planning standards for the rear setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by developers in Kisi Town. The findings of this study are expected to benefit the international audience by filling the existing gap in knowledge on how compliance with 
planning standards related to the setbacks. Around domestic buildings may be statistically analyzed after the undertaking of on-site measurements. 2. Literature Review Urban planning is an important process in guiding spatial development towards the promoting of environmental, cultural, and socio-economic tenets of the society, B.D. and Harhoff, 2017. In view of this, planning standards, therefore, outlines the minimum conditions that ought to be fulfilled by developers during the design and development phases of buildings, Kariba Sapa, Raja, J. Akumaran and Jigan, 2016. Developers are consequently required not to go below the minimum planning standards that have been predetermined notwithstanding the fact that the desired target is usually the upper limits, Olujami. 2008. This, without doubt, includes standards that regulate setbacks around domestic buildings in urban areas. A growing body of literature has so far attempted to appraise the extent to which developers are complying with the recommended planning standards while examining the variables which influenced the level at which developers observed planning standards in the old salt city of Jordan, Alan Sauer and Miaden, 2009 established that compliance was low. This was occasioned by variables such as inadequate enforcement by the planning authority, household monthly income, the dominant culture within the planning authority, size of the household, and the vagueness of the applicable standards. A study in Wales and England by Bayich, Walliman and Ogden, 2006, however, found out that although compliance was not high, the main challenge was inadequate skills and lack of awareness of the applicable planning standards on the part of the operators, inadequate construction site management and the utilization of substandard labor. These findings could be likened to that of Sarkali, Sharifi, Rafian, Bimanian, and Murayama. 2012, who gave an account that the level of developers' awareness and the average Monthly income were among the top drivers of non-compliance with the floor area ratio planning standard in the city of Tehran. Non-compliance was equally impelled by variables such as the housing per capita, the price of buildings, building coverage ratio, and the status of transportation infrastructure. Unlike Sarkali et. L. 2012 whose study was descriptive. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95-108-2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 97. Kariba Sapa ETL. 2016, quantified the disregarded standards in the Bangalores. Neil Adri Nagar, Electronic City Phase 1 and established that regarding road widths, while the Average violation was 49% or that of plinth. Height was 87.17%. In the same vein, recommended building heights, setbacks, plot, coverage, and the floor area ratio was exceeded by more than 39%. A related study in terms of the methodology by Boob and Rao, 2014 in India's local authorities of Yavatmal. District of Maharashtra State established that roadside, side and rear margins were disregarded in all subdivided land. Further, violations for the floor space index and the building coverage ratios were also recorded. At the same time, all main road junctions had been encroached on by developers. Studies in Africa have also given an account of how planning standards are seldom complied with by developers. For example, in Aduakiti, Nigeria, Ohofejuru, and Adabia, 2018. 
observed that unawareness of the benefits of development control and inadequate enforcement by the planning institutions were the main reasons why most developers encroached on the designated public open spaces. These arguments agree with that of Twum Darko and Mazabuko, 2015, who averred that developers in South Africa flouted the national building regulations because they were unaware of its existence. The findings, however, contradict that of Arima and Adiagbo, 2000, that confirmed the lack of a significant correlation between developers' awareness of the existence of planning standards, such as a building coverage ratio, and setbacks, on one hand, and the extent to which they complied with them on the other hand. In other words, awareness of the standards was not a predictor for conformity. Noncompliance was mainly instigated by inadequate interagency coordination. Developers without planning permission are likely to flout planning standards. This was corroborated by Abongha, Ajik Pong. Emery and Upyaji, 2016, in Calabar South where over 100 buildings were developed without the requisite planning permission, consequently disregarding the requirements of the Cross River State Building Regulations of 1984. These findings may further be compared to that of Jimma, Al, Hassan, Imamoli and Ahmed, 2018, established that developers in the Achi Edo state contravened planning control regulations such as setbacks, an exceeding of building coverage ratio, a problem blamed on the socio-economic characteristics of respondents, an inadequate staff establishment within the Achi Planning Authority, a different study in Calabar by Afiang, 2017, provided a new insight that the age of the buildings, possession of approved building plans, housing development, density and competency in supervision jointly, affected compliance with planning standards. A similar line of argument was maintained in W.A. Municipality, Ghana, by Dambibo and Jallo, 2018, who discerned that weak enforcement provided room for non-compliance leading to disorganized spatial development. This appears to agree with what Tazantab, 2016, already found out in Sikandi Takaradi that most developers flouted planning standards on account of inadequate enforcement. In Eldoret, Kenya, Njidik, Opata, and Malongo, 2016, established that although a planning standard of 3 meters had been recommended for building lines, 100 per center 95 per center 84 per center and 74 per center of developers Indiana that order from Elgon. View, Miley North Northeast, Kaimomu, and Longas. Disregarded it. Further, 1-1 PER cent of developers who had approved building plans amended them without seeking for a new approval from the local authority. There is no doubt that the reviewed body of empirical evidence suggests that developers seldom comply with planning standards. However, there is still a dearth of knowledge on how compliance with planning standards that are used in regulating the setbacks around domestic buildings may be statistically determined after undertaking pragmatic on site measurements. Most studies have moreover delved on what causes nonconformity with recommended planning standards instead of quantifying their extent of conformity. The current study fills this new gap in knowledge since planning standards provide the basis for undertaking development control, in addition to acting as a precursor for implementing urban land use development plans. Three. Materials and Methods 3.1 The Study Area 
Kisi town is located 120 km northwest of Nairobi City County, the capital city of the Republic of Kenya, Figure 1. The town is currently designated as the administrative and commercial headquarters of Kisi County. It is spatially segregated into five selections, namely Mwamojioma, Bobarako, Bamwanda, Nianchwa Township and Nora. In reference to the Constitution of Kenya, the Republic of Kenya, 2010, the county government of Kisi CGOK, retains the exclusive legal jurisdiction of undertaking land use planning and enforcement of development regulations control in Kisi Town. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 108 2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 98. Figure 1, Kisi Town Location in Kenya. Source Writer Stake, 2019. According to the Constitution of Kenya, the Republic of Kenya, 2010, the CGOK operates under legislative and executive arms. While the legislative arm makes county legislation, the county executive, in contrast, implements the national and county legislation, including managing and coordinating the functions of all devolved county departments. This indicates that once the county legislature has pronounced itself in a way of passing applicable legislation on planning and development control, it is the responsibility of the county executive which is headed by the governor to undertake monitoring and enforcement. The town's population was estimated at 90,700 by the Kenya Population and Housing Census. Survey in 2019, the Republic of Kenya, 2019A. This is projected to 135,000 by 2032. Kisi Town has also the third highest population density, 2,862 per km2, in Kenya, after Nairobi and Mombasa. Cities A combination of a high population growth rate and density in the absence of adequate development control by the CGOK has compounded the challenges which are related to compliance with planning standards. 3.2 Theoretical Context This study was anchored in the theory of Regulatory Compliance, TRC, which is primarily concerned with the necessity to comply with regulations or rules. The theory, according to Fien, 2016, first came to light in the 1970s, the era when the association between compliance with regulations was correlated with best practice standards and outcome data. From this comparison, it became manifest that total compliance with stipulated rules and regulations contributed to positive results. When related to the current study, TRC makes a justification on why developers in Kisi Town should comply with the planning standards that regulate setbacks. The aim is to attain the objective of sustainable spatial urban development. To achieve this, the CGOK uses development control to ensure total compliance by developers in regard to planning standards that relate to the spaces around domestic buildings. To additionally link the theory with the existing policy and legislative framework. The Ministry of Lands, the Republic of Kenya, 2007, prepared the Physical Planning Handbook. In 2007 with an intention of providing clear guidelines on the minimum standards that developers should comply with as a way of promoting the best practice in land use planning. Further, in an attempt to enforce regulatory compliance, Section 57, 2, of the Physical End Land Use Planning Act of 2009, the Republic of Kenya, 2019b, states that any person who 
commences any development without obtaining a development permit is liable to be convicted to a fine of not less than 500,000 shillings, 50,000 US dollars, or to incarceration for a term not less than two months or to both. Compliance with planning standards that regulate setbacks is, therefore, realized through statutory regulatory compliance. 3.3 Population, Sample and Sampling Design The CGOK does not maintain a spatial database of residential developments in Kisi town. As such, there was no readily available sampling frame for residential developments. To overcome this limitation, high-resolution satellite imagery that covered the seven neighborhoods and QGIS Software was used to digitize all building developments from the seven neighborhoods. A comprehensive ground truthing exercise was afterwards undertaken to ensure that the digitized developments were residential in addition to determining the boundary for each neighborhood to ensure no overlaps in data collection. A total of 7,430 residential buildings Developments was successfully mapped, Table 1. This provided the required sampling frame and the target population which was used to determine the extent to which developments were complying with the recommended planning standards as regards the spaces around domestic buildings. Determination of sample size was carried out using Craigie and Morgan, 1972. Sample Size Determination Table which recommends that if the population range from 7,000 to 7,999, a sample size of 364 should be selected. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95-108-2020 Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 99 Table 1, Neighborhood Sampling Promotions Neighborhood slash Strata Mapped Houses Sample Size Yaga 1551-220 Mwembe 1105-54 Niamag 1171-57 Nianchwa 673-33 Niamatero 808-40 Ejisa 821.40 Darajim Billy 1.30164 Total 7,433.64 Having determined the sample size, 7 Residential neighborhoods were taken as strata and proportional random samples afterwards drawn to arrive at a sample size of 364 residential developments Based on the sample of 364, proportional random sampling through the random numbers was applied to select the desired sample size for each neighborhood. Random numbers were used because they permit the selection of samples without any bias. As such the sample can be said to be representative of the whole population. 3.4 Data Collection and Analysis a structured observation checklist was used to collect data from each sampled residential development. The checklist was divided into four columns. The first indicated the description of the applicable planning standards. Conversely, while the second and the third columns, respectively, showed the value for each recommended planning standard and their Observed extent of compliance, the fourth column recorded the ensuing deviation from each of the recommended planning standards. In this case, a negative variance denoted non-compliance while a positive deviation confirmed compliance. Collected data were analyzed using a one-sample t-test to statistically determine the extent at which each planning standard had been complied with by sampled developments. The observed extent of compliance was determined through factual on-site measurements. This is a 
key attribute of positivist research philosophy, which advocates for a deductive method of inquiry where analysis involves working on quantifiable and measurable observations, including hypothesis testing using statistical analyses. The research hypotheses were also tested using a one sample t test. The Republic of Kenya, 2007, through the Physical Planning Handbook recommends that domestic buildings be sited, set back, by leaving an open space in front, which shall extend throughout the whole width of the front of the building to a distance of not be less than 6 m. Measured at right angles, provided that, if the building fronts a street of lesser width, the width of such open space may not be less than the width of the street together with one half of the difference between that width and six meters. The handbook further prohibits the construction of any part of a building, normal housing, within 4.5 meters and 3 meters of the rear and side boundary of a site respectively. Figure 2 gives an illustration of the recommended setback. Planning standards as per the handbook. Figure 2 an illustrated guide on recommended planning standards for setbacks as illustrated figure 2 the recommended setbacks promote adequate outdoor spaces and well lightened and ventilated building interiors they also promote fire safety planning by spacing buildings away from each other therefore allowing easy passage of vehicles these are the planning standards for setbacks that are used by the CGOK in regulating the development of domestic buildings. The current study is, therefore, concerned with the extent to which developers comply with them. This is because the provision of such setbacks further permits sufficient space for accommodating amenities such as septic tanks, water and sewer reticulation. They also create space for parking. The current study finally tested for the assumption of normality in the collected data through the application of the Kolmogorov Shapiro. This is because assessing the normality assumption is necessary if the collected data is parametric in nature, in consequence a key determinant of its validity. The rule of thumb is always that if the SIG Value of the Shapiro Wilk test is greater than 0.05. The data is considered as normally distributed. However, if it is below 0.05, the data significantly deviate from a normal distribution. For results and discussions, the objective of this study was to determine the extent to which developers in Kenya, a case study of Kisi Town, comply with the Recommended planning standards that regulate the spaces around domestic buildings. This Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 108 2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 100. Section therefore concurrently presents and discusses the research findings per residential neighborhood. It commences by presenting the Results of the normality test in addition to the outcome of the response rate. The section caps by testing the research hypotheses. 4.1 tests for statistical assumption of normality and response rate. The results call Mogorov Smirnov test for normality reported a high p value of 0.316. Since this was greater than 0.05, it was concluded that the data were normally distributed. The response rate for the checklists that were used to record the extent of conformity with the recommended planning standards was also determined. This is because response rate generally provides an indicator that can be used to better understand the validity of survey data. The response rate for the Checklists used in the current study was 80%, 290 out of 364. This was way above the minimum 
threshold of 50% as suggested by Mugenda and Mugenda, 2003, thereby giving credibility for data analysis and reporting. 4.2 Compliance Assessment to Planning Standards 4.2.1 Nianchua Analysis commenced in Nianchua by Examining the extent to which residential Building developments in the study area were Complying with the recommended planning Standards that are used by the CGOK in Regulating spaces around and in front, setbacks Of domestic buildings Initial results showed that observed mean compliance, M equals 1.88, SD equals 0.52, for side spaces, was lower than recommended mean of 3 meters, by 1.12. Regarding rear spaces, the mean, M equals 2.40, SD equals 1.17, was lower than the Recommended standard of 4.5 meters by 1.6. With reference to front spaces, the mean, M equals 2.17, SD equals 1.83, was also lower than the recommended 6 meters by 0.83. From this background, using one sample t-test, the study further sought to determine if the observed Non-compliance by developers were by any chance statistically significant, Table 2. Table 2, one test for observed compliance in Nianchua. Planning standard TDF SIG. Two-tailed, mean difference test value. Side space minus 10.570 23.000 1.1243 Rear space minus 8.757.23.000 minus 2.0964.5 M. Front space minus 2.226.23.036 minus 0.83336 M. In the first incident, observed measurements for side spaces were found to be statistically significantly lower by 1.124 than the recommended planning standard of 3 meters. T. 23, equals minus 10.570, P equals 0 .000. Similarly, in the second case, observed measurements for rear spaces were also statistically and significantly lower by 2.096 than the recommended planning standard of 4.5, T. 23, equals minus 8.757, P equals 0 .000. As regards front space, observed measurements were correspondingly lower by 0.833 than the recommended standard of 6, T, 23, equals minus 2.226, P equals 0 .036, attesting that both enforcement and monitoring of residential building developments by the current and previous planning authorities in Nianchua have not been effective. 4.2.2 Yagu, Ijisa, Niamatero, and Deraja. Mbili. These four neighborhoods were jointly analyzed because they are located in the same sublocation of Mwamojioma, the largest sublocation in Kisi town. It was found out that in Yagu, the means for front space, M equals 5.56, SD equals 1.82, side space, M equals 1.97, SD equals 1.31, and rear space, M equals 2.89, SD equals 1.93, were lower than respective test values of 6.0, 3.0, and 4.5. In Niamatero, observed means for front space, M equals 3.91, SD equals 1.84, side space, M equals 1.51, SD equals 0.78, and rear space, M equals 2.36, SD equals 1.44, were in the same way less than the corresponding planning standard test values. A similar pattern repeated in EGISA where the means for front space, M equals 4.97, SD equals 1.82,
side. Space, M equals 1.73, SD equals 1.30, and rear space, M equals 2.25, SD equals 1.44, further fell below the test values. Derajim Billy was no exception where means for front space, M equals 3.59, SD equals 1.56, side space, M equals 1.92, SD equals 0.931, as well as rear space, M equals 2.34, SD equals 1.80, were below their respective test values. See Table 2. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 108 2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 101. Table 2. 1 Sample Statistics on Compliance in Ejisa, Niamatero, and Derajim Billy Description of Planning Standard Slash Neighborhood and Mean SD SEM Test Value Yagu Front Space 75.561.820.226.0 M Side Space 71.971.310.163.0 M Rear space 72.891.930.234.5 M. Niamatero. Front space 35 3.911.840.316.0 M. Side space 35 1.510.780.133.0 M. Rear space 35 2.360.880.154.5 M. Ejisa. Front space 31 4.971.820.336.0 M. Side space 31 1.731.300.233.0 M. Rear space 31 2.251.440.264.5 M. Derajim Billy. Front space 63.591.560.206.0 M. Side space 61.92.931.1203.0 M. Rear space 62.341.800.234.5 M. A determination of the significance of noted differences, observed compliance against test values, was further tested using a one sample T. Test, Table 3. Table 3. One sample test on compliance in Yagu, Ejisa, Niamatero, and Derajim Billy. Description of planning. Standard slash neighborhood TDF. SIG. 2. Tailed. Mean. Difference. Test value. Yagu. Front space minus 2.0369.05 minus 0.446 M. Side space minus 6.5869.00 minus 1.033 M. Rear space minus 6.9569.00 minus 1.614.5 M. Niamatero. Front space minus 6.71734.00 minus 2.086 M. Side space minus 11.3734.00 minus 1.493 M. Rear space minus 14.4534.00 minus 2.144.5 M. Ejisa. Front space minus 3.1630.00 minus 1.036 M. Side space minus 5.4530.00 minus 1.273 M. Rear space minus 8.7330.00 minus 2.254.5 M. Derajim Billy. Front space minus 11.9359.00 minus 2.416 M. Side space minus 8.9859.00 minus 1.083 M. Rear space minus 9.2759.00 minus 2.164.5 M. Results disclosed that in Yagu, compliance with front spaces was statistically lower as Corroborated by a mean difference of minus 0.44, t. 69, equals minus 2.03, p equals 0.05.
the mean compliance with side space was correspondingly lower with a mean difference of minus 1.03 t 69 equals 6.58 p equals 0 0.00 the same applied to rear space whose mean difference minus 1.61 was highly significant t 69 equals 6.95 p equals 0 0.00 in the amatero neighborhood front space compliance as well fell short of meeting the test value as shown by a significant mean difference of minus 2.08 t 34 equals minus 6.717 p equals 0 0.00 additionally compliance with side space recorded a significant mean difference of minus 1.49 t 34 equals minus 11.37 p equals 0 0.00 so was the mean difference in the observed rear space of minus 2.14 t 34 equals minus 14.45 p equals 0 0 as regards egisa front spaces reasonably recorded declined mean Differences, minus 1.03, t, 30, equals minus 3.16, p equals 0 0.00. Moreover, observed mean difference, minus 1.27, 4. Side spaces was significant, t, 30, equals minus 5.45, p equals 0 0. Akin to other standards, the mean difference, 2.25, for rear spaces was highly significant, t, 30, equals minus 8.73, p equals 0 0.00. In Derajim Billy, the situation was not different where the mean difference for front. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 108 2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 102. Space showed non compliance. Minus 2.41, that was significant, t, 59, equals minus 11.93, p equals 0 0.00. The same applied to side spaces where mean difference was minus 1.08, t, 59, equals minus 8.98, p equals 0 0.00, in addition to rear spaces which also had a significant mean. Difference, minus 2.16, t, 59, equals minus 9.27, p equals 0 0.000, thus. Inadequate development control by the CGOK. 4.2.3 Mwembe and Niamag. Data analysis for these two neighborhoods. Were analyzed together since they have been. Zoned by the CGOK as low density. Regarding. Front spaces, observed mean compliance for Mwembe, M equals 3.10, SD equals 1.60, was less than 6. 6, meters with a resultant modal frequency of 3, 3, meters. Likewise, in Niamag, observed mean compliance on front space, M equals 4.6, SD equals 2.16, fell short of complying with the recommended standard, 6 meters. The modal frequency for Niamag, MO equals 4, was higher than that of Mwembe. It was observed that while the mean compliance with side spaces in Mwembe, M equals 1.06, SD equals 0.81, was less than recommended. 6, 6, meters. The same applied to Niamag, M equals 1.12, SD equals 0.92, with a modal frequency of 0. 0. A further descriptive analysis on rear space confirmed that observed mean compliance. 1.47, for Mwembe was lower than 4.5 meters, so was a comparable trend in Niamag, M equals 1.76. SD equals 1.31. Both Mwembe and Niamag reported equivalent low modal frequencies, 
mo equals zero for rear spaces table four table four one sample statistics on compliance in Wembe and Niamag. Description of planning. Standard slash neighborhood and MSD SEM MO. Test. Value. Front space. Mwembe 40.003.101.600.2536M. Niamag 30.004.602.160.3942. Side space. Mwembe 40.001.060.810.1313 M. Niamag 30.001.120.920.1703 M. Rear space. Mwembe 40.001.471.430.2304.5 M. Niamag 30.001.761.310.2404.5M Based on observed deviations, additional analysis was further conducted to determine whether all the resultant nonconformities in the neighborhood were statistically significant in relation to the respective test values, Table 5. Table 5, one sample test on compliance in Wembe and Niamag. Description of planning. Standard slash neighborhood TDF. SIG. Two-tailed. Mean. Difference. Front space. Test value equals 6M. Mwembe minus 11.4839.000.00 minus 2.90. Niamag minus 3.5529.000.00 minus 1.40. Side space, test value equals 3M. Mwembe minus 15.1139.000.00 minus 1.94. Niamag minus 11.1729.000.00 minus 1.88. Rear space, test value equals 4.5M. Mwembe minus 13.4439.000.00 minus 3.03. Niamag minus 11.4729.000.00 minus 2.74. As concerns front space setbacks, test results. Confirmed that mean compliance differences for Mwembe, minus 2.90, and Niamag, minus 1.40 were individually statistically significant t 39 equals minus 11.48 p equals 0, 0.00 and t 29 equals minus 3.55 p equals 0, 0.00 respectively in all cases mean compliance denoted deviations from the standard test values similar observations were made in the side spaces where corresponding mean differences for Mwembe and Niamag, minus 1.94 and minus 1.88, were statistically significant, t, 39, equals minus 15.11, p equals 0, 0.00 and t, 29, equals minus 11.17, p equals 0, 0.00. A final analysis on rear space confirmed. Significant negative mean differences, minus 3.03 and minus 2.74, t, 39, equals minus 13.44, p equals 0, 0.00, and t, 29, equals minus 13.44, p equals 0, 0.00 respectively. An illustration of non-compliance with the recommended 4.5. Meters Rear Setback Planning Standard in Deraja. Mbili is demonstrated in Figure 3. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95-108-2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 103. Figure 3, Non-Compliance with Rear Setback Planning. Standard in Deraja Mbili. In the above occurrence, the entire 4.5 meters. Rear setback has been used to develop servant quarters and stores, oblivious of the important 
role that it provides. A challenge is bound to arise. In case of emergencies such as those associated with fire disasters, this undermines development. Control principles of safety, access, convenience, and aesthetics, consequently, signifying inadequate development control. 4.3 Results of Hypothesis Testing The research findings have so far demonstrated that most residential developments from each of the neighborhoods of Kisi Town do not comply with the stipulated planning standards for the setbacks around domestic buildings. This further provides an insight that development control by the CGOK is inadequate. From the foregoing background, this section now presents the results of the significance tests for the three research hypotheses which were tested using one sample t-test. 4.3.1 First Hypothesis H01, there is no statistically significant difference between the recommended planning standards for the front setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by developers in Kisi Town. Table 6 Table 6, Significance Test for the First Hypothesis Front Space Setbacks Test Value Slash Planning Standard equals 6 M TDF SIG Two-tailed, Mean Difference Recommended Planning Standard VS Observed Extent Of Compliance Minus 14.7462890000 minus 1.68931. As indicated in Table 6, the test found a statistically significant difference between the two variables, T, 289, equals minus 14.746, P equals 0 0.000. The null hypothesis was, for that reason, rejected at the 95% confidence level owing to the fact that on average, compliance with the recommended planning standard for the front setbacks declined by a calculated mean of 1.68931 m. 4.3.2 Second Hypothesis H02, there is no statistically significant difference between the recommended planning standards for the side setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by developers in Kisi Town. Table 7 Table 7, Significance Test for the Second Hypothesis Side Space Setbacks Test Value equals 3M TDF SIG Two-tailed, Mean Difference Recommended Planning Standard VS Observed Extent Of Compliance Minus 8.937289.000 minus 0.86917. As the case of the first hypothesis, the results presented in Table 7 reports a statistically significant difference between the two variables. Recommended planning standards for side setbacks and the observed extent of conformity by developers in Kisi Town, T289 equals minus 8.937, p equals 0 0.000. The null hypothesis was consequently rejected at the 95% confidence level on the account that compliance with the recommended setback planning standard significantly declined by a mean of 0.86917 m. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2. 95-108-2020 Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 104 4.3.3 Third Hypothesis H03, there is no statistically significant difference between the recommended planning standards for the rear setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by developers in Kisi Town, C. Table 8 Table 8 Significance test for the third hypothesis. Rear space setback. Test value equals 4.5 m. TDF SIG. Two-tailed, mean difference. Recommended planning. Standard VS observed extent. Of compliance. 
minus 20.382289.000 minus 2.01079. It is clear from Table 8 that there is a statistically significant difference between the recommended standards for the rear setbacks and the observed extent of compliance by developers for the reason that T289 equals minus 20.382. P equals 0 .000. This made a justification for the rejection of the null hypothesis at the 95% confidence level. Given that on average, the observed compliance declined by a mean of 2.01079 m. The results of the three hypotheses that have been tested outwardly demonstrate that owing to inadequate development control by the CGOK, most developers continue to flout the recommended planning standards for setbacks. If the status quo remains, it is anticipated that the challenges related to unregulated housing development in Kisi Town are bound to further escalate in the near future at the detriment of sustainable urban development. To this end, the findings of the current study concur with that of Babatunda and Emmanuel. 2014, which appraised development control in Ogbomiso South Local Government, Oyo State, Nigeria, and consequently found a relationship between the extent of compliance with development control regulations and attainment of development planning objectives. The current study, however, determined the difference between the recommended planning standards for the setbacks and their observed extent of compliance by developers, thus further filling the research gap that hitherto existed on compliance assessment of recommended planning standards. 5. Conclusion Planning standards that regulate spaces around domestic buildings in Kisi Town are widely disregarded owing to inadequate development control as well as weak monitoring regime by the CGOK. The problem continues notwithstanding the legal framework that has clearly given the CGOK the statutory powers of enforcing compliance. Disregard of planning standards may suggest why KCI Town continues to experience problems such as inadequate parking within residential areas, encroachment, on road reserves, pressure on infrastructural services and environmental degradation. The current setting dents the development control. Principles of aesthetics, access, convenience and safety. It further overlooks the United Nations much publicized goal on sustainable cities and communities which targets that all countries should by 2030 have promoted inclusive and sustainable urbanization as well as enhanced their capacity for integrated and sustainable human settlement planning. Having ascertained the prevailing status of affairs, there is a dire need for the CGOK to rethink of a workable strategy that would address the problem at hand because it is obvious that very little can be done to reverse the deeply rooted nonconformities as this might call for. Unpopular initiatives such as demolition of the affected buildings. The move is likely not to succeed as it would derail the national government's current ambitious plan of developing at least 500,000 affordable residential housing units by 2022. Henceforward, a recommendation is made that the CGOK should in accordance with Section 46 of the Land Use and Physical Planning Act, 2019, urgently endeavor to prepare a comprehensive local physical and land use development plan for KCI Town to provide, among other statutory requirements, clear zoning guidelines including those related to planning standards on setbacks. The zonal guidelines should be unique to the specific niche of KCI Town hence addressing the limitations of the guidelines hitherto issued under the Physical Planning Handbook, 
2007. They Central argument is the CGOK should purpose to Develop standards that are customized to fit and Address the current and the unique needs of its Environment instead of relying on general Standards whose development was Conceptualized at the national level, therefore Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95-108-2020 Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 105 Not compatible within the prevailing local socio-economic dynamics and spatial structure. While developing the new standards, care should be taken to ensure that the entire process is stakeholders-driven. The planning standards should, thereafter, form the basis for approving subsequent applications for development permits once they have been approved. Acknowledgement The author would like to acknowledge the National Commission for Science, Technology and Innovation, NACOSTI, for granting of a research permit to undertake the study. Conflict of Interest The author declares no conflict of interest in this Research Publication References Adiji, J. and Arela, O. 2018 Urban Renewal Strategies and Economic Growth in Ondo State, Nigeria, A Case Study Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 2, 1, 76-83 https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point two five zero three four slash a point twenty eighteen dot thirty six sixty two African Development Bank two thousand and fourteen Tracking Africa's progress in figures https slash slash org slash file admin slash upload slash af db slash documents slash publications slash tracking underscore afric a percent e two percent eighty percent ninety nine s underscore progress underscore in underscore figures dot pdf alan sour j and me j 2009 factors affecting compliance with residential standards in the city of old salt jordan habitat international 33, 3013309. HTTPS slash slash doi dot org slash ten point ten sixteen slash j dot habitat in point two thousand and eight point zero eight point zero zero three. Arima, BC, and Adiagbo, D. 2000. Compliance with Urban Development and Planning Regulations in Ibadan, Nigeria. Habitat International, 24. 279294 https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point ten sixteen slash s zero one nine seven dash nine seventy five ninety nine zero 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 four three zero Abatunde R I and Emmanuel T A two thousand and fourteen Appraisal of Development Control Activities in Ogbomiso South Local Government Oyo State, Nigeria. Asian Journal of Science and Technology, 5, 6, 331 to 319. https slash slash www.journalogist.com slash appraisal. Evelopment Control Activities Ogbomiso. South Local Government Oyo State, Nigeria. Bayich, B., William, N., and Ogden, R. 2006. Compliance with Building Regulations in England and Wales. Structural Survey, 24. 4, 279 to 299. https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point eleven oh eight slash zero two six three zero eight zero zero six one zero seven zero four four two seven BD L and Harhoff E. 2018. Urban Growth. Livability and Quality Urban Design. Questions about the efficacy of urban planning systems in Auckland, New Zealand. 
Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 2, 2, 12 to 23. https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point two five zero three four slash hq a point twenty eighteen dot thirty six sixty seven. Boob, Tien, and Rao, YRM. 2014. Zoning Within. Plot and Approach to Land Subdivision 2. Control Violation of Development Control. Rules. International Journal of. Multidisciplinary and Current Research, 2. 4, 48 to 59. HTTP colon slash slash IJMCR dot com slash WP hyphen content slash upload slash twenty fourteen slash zero one slash paper fifteen ninety ninety eight dot PDF Dam Bebo D and Jallo CA two thousand and eighteen Sustainable Urban Development and Land Use Management WA Municipality in Perspective. Ghana, Journal of Sustainable. Development, 11, 5, 235-248. HTTPS slash slash doi dot org slash 10.5539 slash jsd dot v11 and 5p235. Folade Lu, K. 2019. Urban Sprawl Negative Impact. In Comey Return Phase. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 3, 1, 44 to 51. https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point two five zero three four slash hq a point twenty eighteen point forty seven oh nine. Fien, R. Two thousand and sixteen. Theory of Regulatory Compliance. SSRN Electronic Journal. HTTPS slash slash doi dot org slash ten point twenty one thirty nine slash SSRN point three two three nine six nine one Hope Senior, KR two thousand and twelve Urbanization in Kenya African Journal of Economic and Sustainable Development one one four to twenty six https slash slash ww dot reset archgate dot net slash publication slash two six two eight five five four one five underscore urbanization underscore in underscore Kenya slash link slash fifty eight eighty eight AF six one nine two eight five one C zero six a one thirty three B zero F slash download Institute of Economic Affairs two thousand and sixteen Challenges and way forward in the Kenyan urban sector. Policy Magazine, Issue No. 006. HTTPS slash slash www.iekenya.org.k slash publications slash p. Olasi Magazine slash challenges and way forward in the Kenyan urban sector. Jima, BA.1, Al Hassan, A.Z.1, Imimoli, W.O., and Ahmed. MB. 2018. Contravention of. Development control measures in Achi. Nigeria. Applied Science Reports, 20, 2. https slash slash ssrn dot com slash abstract equals 3201451. Kariba Sapa, H. Aaron, Raja, J. Akamaran, B. And Jigen, M. 2016. Violation of. Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 108 2020. Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 106. Development Control Rules and Regulations A. Case Study at Neil Adri Nagar, Electronic City. Phase 1, Bangalore 560100 IOSR. Journal of. Mechanical and Civil Engineering, IOSR. JMC, 13, 2, 8 to 12. HTTP colon slash slash www.iosrjournals.org slash iosr hyphen. James slash papers slash vol 13 issue 2 slash version. 3 slash b13020308121. PDF. Crazy, RV, and Morgan, DW. 1970. 
determining sample size for research activities educational and psychological measurement 30 607 to 610 https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point eleven seventy seven slash zero zero one three one six four four seven zero zero three zero 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 three zero eight Mugenda A and Mugenda O two thousand and three Research Methods Quantitative and Qualitative Approaches Axe Press Nairobi Njidik JK Opata GP and Malongo, L.S. 2016 Making Urban Planning and Development Control Instruments Work for Kenyan Cities The Case of the City of Eldoret Journal of Emerging Trends in Economics and Management Sciences, 7, 4246-254 HTTP colon slash slash jtms.scholarlinkresearch.com slash article ES slash making percent 20 urban percent 20 planning percent 20 and percent 2 0 development percent 20 newest dot pdf Abong Ha, Yui, Ajik Pong, B, Emery, S, and Upyaji JK 2018 Assessment of Building Regulations Enforcement and Housing Development in Calabar South Nigeria International Journal of Modern Sciences and Engineering Technology, IJMZET, 3, 7, pages 7 14. HTTPS slash slash nebula dot uzim dot com slash 8 c 8 dff 74 47 of 1 d d 063 0 7 c 5 1 8 5 4 abd 38 access key id equals d 81 d 6. 60734 BCB 585516F and disposition equals 0 and allow Uriji. N equals 1. Afiang, V. 2017. Physical Legal Characteristics of Buildings and Compliance with Building. Law in Urban Area. Calabar, Cross River. State. IOSR Journal of Environmental. Science, Toxicology and Food Technology IOSR Just Feet, 11, 12, 30 to 35 HTTPS slash slash www.isairjournals.org slash isair Just Feet slash Papers slash Vol 11 Issue Percent 2012 slash Version 2 slash D1112023035 dot PDF Oho Fejuru, and Adabia, A 2018 Development Control Regulations Compliance, Paradigm Change to Reinvent Disrupted Public Spaces and Make Future Great Place in Adua Kitty, Nigeria Civil Engineering and Architecture, 6, 1, 1 to 17 https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point one three one eight nine slash cea point twenty eighteen point zero six zero one zero one Olujami, J A B two thousand and eight Administration of Physical Planning in Nigeria, the Ondo State Experience Landscape and Urban Planning Journal twenty five one hundred and fifteen one twenty six https slash slash doi dot org slash ten point ten sixteen slash zero one six nine twenty forty six ninety three nine zero one two seven y Ritchie, H, and Roser M twenty twenty Urbanization https slash slash our world in data dot org slash urbanization Sarkali, E, Sharifi, A, Rafian M, Bimanian, M. R., and Marayama, A. 2012. An. Investigation of the reasons for non. Compliance with FAR regulations in Tehran. Cities, 29, 223-233. HTTPS slash slash doi dot org slash 10.1016 slash j dot cities point 2011.09.004.
Tazantab, JC. 2016. Building Permits as a Tool. For Development Control, Evidence from. C. Condi Takaradi. Journal of Environment. And Earth Science, 6, 11, 49 to 159. HTTPS slash slash www.ist.org slash journals slash index.php slash JES slash article slash view slash 34079. The Republic of Kenya, 2007. Physical Planning. Handbook. HTTPS slash slash www.scribd.com slash doc slash 20870031 slash ph. Physical Planning Handbook June 2007 The Republic of Kenya, 2010 Constitution Government Printer, Nairobi HTTP colon slash slash kenyalaw.org slash kl slash index dot php question mark id equal sign 398 The Republic of Kenya, 2019A Kenya Population and Census Survey https slash slash www.knbs.or.k slash cat equals 469 the republic of kenya 2019b physical and land use planning act http colon slash slash kenyalaw.org slash kl slash phyladmin slash pdf down l od slash x slash 2019 slash physical and land use plan i NG Act underscore no 13 of 2019.pdf. Twum Darko, M., and Mazaboko, P.N. 2015. Compliance and Enforcement Challenges. A Case of the National Building Regulations. Processes in South Africa. Journal of. Governance, 4, 679 to 684. HTTPS slash slash doi dot org slash ten point two two four nine five slash JGR underscore V four underscore I four underscore C six underscore P two UNDP two thousand and twelve Human Development Report two thousand and twelve HTTPS slash slash www dot und dot org slash content slash und slash n slash h ohm slash library page slash HDR slash Africa human Development Report 2012.html Unhabitat, 2015 International Guidelines on Urban and Territorial Planning, Unhabitat Nairobi Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95-108-2020 Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 107 https slash slash www.ucl.org slash sites slash default slash files slash ig utp underscore english dot pdf unhabitat 2019 urban impact https slash slash unhabitat.org slash urban impact 4th quarter 2019 ritter stake 2019 kenya facts and information https slash slash com slash posts slash kenya kenya facts and information world bank 2016 kenya urbanization review http colon slash slash documents dot world bank dot org slash curate slash en slash six three nine two three one four six eight zero four three five one two nine zero six slash pdf slash a us eighty ninety nine w p p one four eight three six zero public k urbanization acs dot pdf how to cite this article omalo w o twenty twenty compliance with planning standards related to the setbacks around domestic buildings empirical evidence from kenya Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95 to 108. https slash slash doi.org slash 10.25034 slash hqa.2020.v4n2-9. Point point Journal of Contemporary Urban Affairs, 4, 2, 95-108 slash 2020. 
Dr. Wilfred Aching Omalo 108. www.ijqua.com. This page is intentionally left blank.